U-564 has successfully sunk two merchant ships totaling 8,000 tons in grid AM-57. The crew is currently in the process of reloading the forward torpedo tubes and preparing for our next combat operation. U-564 is currently heading northeast to position herself in the Halifax-Liverpool convoy route. Fertile hunting grounds, that is for sure. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard U-564 as we continue our patrol. U-564 is currently in her patrol area, it's traveling 2,500 kilometers and looking to sink 10,000 tons of shipping. Fuel supply is starting to get rather low though, so we may have to actually divert to Bergen uh, to resupply our boat before we go back into the Atlantic. Although I do think we'll be able to complete this first goal a-okay without any problems traveling to 2,500 kilometers and if we come across another merchant ship I think this 10,000 ton quota will be easy peasy to accomplish overall the boat is looking rather good we rearmed all of our bow torpedo tubes so they're all ready to rock and roll the torpedoes aren't warmed up though but we will warm them up whenever we are uh, getting close to combat morale is starting to raise as well like i said the only thing that we really need to worry about is fuel and also food food is slightly low we have 50 bread here um and only 12 meat yeah that's actually much lower than i thought we'll have to really conserve food we're going to start rationing on board it looks like see when we still have our t2 torpedo in the stern tube there so yeah i think diverting to bergen it, um is a good idea just to restock food and fuel and also get a few more torpedoes in the boat just so we can head back out to sea and sink more shipping we do have a u-boat down here uh, that reported into us however it's uh sailing off to the south uh, west out there so not really anything to worry about we are currently heading north i'm going to patrol around here and try to get convoys going in and out of the united kingdom i think this will be a pretty good place to catch them so we will see and we'll actually just try to head make this a little straighter and straighten that up a little bit Well, that was extremely fast. We have ships spotted already. Uh, we just got this report, a tiny group, one to three. We're going to mark this down and prepare to go to periscope depth. Uh, increase speed to standard. Stand up, stand up. Let's see if we can actually stand make up. them out here. Mm, not seeing anything just yet. Maybe they saw smoke on the horizon or something. I'm not seeing anything out there. However, let's assign additional crewmen to Becker here. They're going to start getting worked a little bit. And normal lighting as well apparently is a debuff, even though it's it's pretty bright at the moment. But okay, let's rig for red. See if that helps. We also apparently have a bit more a bit of water in the bilge. We'll turn on the pump. Did that help? Yeah. The uh, switching to night light did help. So rigging for red helped that out. So the morale will drop to zero in one hour and 38 minutes. That's fine. I can actually start unassigning some of these crewmen. I was messing with the crew management just a little bit, trying to find a good balance. And it looks like these guys are heading west. Okay. Let's change course slightly. And we'll mark this position. And we'll use a little bit more time compression. And the hunt is on. We don't have to radio this into BDU just yet. Yeah. And just course slightly more. Oh, they turned. Oh, it's a U boat. <laughs> uh, it said ships. Uh, it's just one, I suppose. Not even a group. Oh, there's two U boats hanging out here. Well, hello, guys. What are they up to? This. Doing all sorts of wacky and wild maneuvers out here. They're very close to each other as well. Well, that's that's interesting, I suppose. You, uh, 1303, and unknown. Unknown U boat there. All right, well, we will continue on our merry way. I could try to form a wolf pack here, but since there's no enemy convoys in sight or anything, we'll just let them meander on their way. Okay, I just went down to periscope depth to do a quick sound check, and we have propeller noises, a tiny group consisting of three to six vessels, 
we are going to mark this down and begin tracking them and see exactly where they they are heading. In the meantime, we are going to turn our boat around and head towards them. We just submerged, so battery capacity and uh, oxygen is just fine. Looks like oxygen down is down to 95% and battery is at 97. Looks like these guys are heading northeast, heading more or less straight for us, which works rather well. We probably will need to surface considering they are 51 kilometers away, give or take a little bit there. Let's plot their current heading like so and surface the boat. Let's get this boat on the move. Okay, we are currently in a very good intercept position here, just waiting for the enemy ships to come across our path now. We are going to go ahead and go down to periscope depth, where we'll be able to keep tabs on the enemy vessels using the hydrophone. And down we go. I'm in the process of preheating all of our torpedoes, making sure they are ready to rock and roll when the time comes. Uh, missing workers on the dive plane stations. That's okay. They'll come down from the conning tower and get on there. Um, let's turn on... Oh, it's just a little bit of water down there. It's honestly not that huge of a deal. And down we go. Down we go. Okay, we are getting awfully close to this group here. However, it says this is an inaccurate contact and they could be anywhere in the radius of five kilometers, which is rather large considering the range of our torpedoes is five kilometers. Let's make sure all of these torpedoes are warmed up and ready to go. It's been quite a while, so hopefully they have not uh, cooled down. Okay, we want to be warming up tube three after this. There we go. Get, them, get them working on tube three there. Also, we are rigged for red because we get a penalty whenever we have normal lighting. Let's try blue lighting right now. Let's see. Okay, detection. A destroyer. Okay, one destroyer in sight. And this group says it's warships. Now, I hope these all are not just warships. That would, uh, that would be bad for our health. Let's see here. Let's make sure these are all okay. Okay, warming up to four now. Perfect. Okay, another warship has come in the side. It's a flower class Corvette, apparently. Well, I'm just guessing it's a flower class. Yeah, it is. It is a flower class. Another Corvette. So one destroyer. Okay, two destroyers and two Corvettes. Let's turn and get into a good position. Down to slow speed as well. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and attack these guys. Because why not? Let's see. Range is around three kilometers right now. That is manageable. Let's get on the periscope and begin plotting our solution. And um, okay, looks like it's bugged. So a quick reload normally fixes this one. One moment. Okay, and there we go. A quick reload. Just fix that issue right up. And here we have our formation of warships. Uh, I think this one in the lead will be a little difficult to hit. She's already, you know, past 90 degrees angle on bow. Let's look at the rest of the formation here. Like this one. Tribal class, possibly. Um, let's look. Yep, tribal class. Recognize. Speed. We want to try to get speed as soon as possible. Start. Timer from bow to stern. Looks like she's just shy of 90 degrees AOB, and this Corvette's going to get in the way. I don't know if we're going to be able to get an extremely accurate uh, speed reading, because I can't see her stern. No! Okay, we're going to have to guess stop. <laughs> 11 knots. That actually seems reasonable to me. Um, okay, we'll have to redo that, though. Let's lock on the Corvette. Lock on target. Flower class, please. Recognize. Speed, we'll, we'll get her speed. Start. 11 knots seems relatively reasonable. C, stop, set, 12 knots. Unlock. 12 knots for the Corvette. Let's try again, just to see. Does look like she's moving pretty quickly. 
these two are going to be my targets. This Corvette and then that Tribal in the back. We'll fire at the tri Tribal first as she is slightly farther away. 12 knots. Unlock. Okay, let's get speed of our Tribal class friend one more time. Start. Just to see if it is 11 knots. I would like to get accurate speed readings for all these guys. Nice and easy. I'll get range and then stop set. 11 knots once again. Okay. 11 knots it is. To the top of the mast from the water line. Set. Three kilometers out. AOB is probably close to 90 degrees to port. Set. All right. I think we're ready to fire. Tube one, flood it. Speed 40 knots. Step to 1.5. One meter, just so we can avoid the torpedo going underneath it. All right, tube one, los. los. Unlock. Let's target. This flower. Ooh, maybe we should go for this flower. Lock on target. Yeah, we'll go for this one. Uh, speed of target. Let's get it real fast. Start. Uh, that. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll go for this flower here. Identification. Mark that down. Recognize. Speed real fast and small. Start. Shouldn't take too long to establish this flower class Corvette speed. Stop. Set. 12 knots. Perfect. And angle on bow. It looks like 90 degrees. Set. Tube 2 flood. Range. Set, two kilometers, 44 knots, one meter, depth, fire. Okay, torpedo is away, running towards the target. And I'm actually kind of worried that our torpedo meant for the tribal is going to end up hitting this Corvette. We shall see. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh boy, yeah. I think that's going to, oh, it's going to hit the Corvette. Oh my goodness. That is unfortunate, but at least we hit something. Torpedo impact. And she just got eliminated. <laughs> just deleted. Okay, well, see you later. Um, not, oh my gosh, she's gone already? Okay, let's mark this location because I do want these boxes. Um, let's turn around and go down to uh, around 100 meters, please. And we have our other torpedo that is running. Maybe it'll end up hitting the tribal. Are we that lucky? Oh, wow. She's turning very hard to port. Or starboard, excuse me. I don't think that's going to hit. Well, at least we got a Corvette. Even though it was not the... Uh, uh, that torpedo was not intended for it. Yeah, the torpedo's just going to run right in front of her because of that turn. Look at that turn. Wow. Impressive. Well, it is time for us to go. Don't want to overstay our welcome here. Good job. Two torpedoes, one Corvette. I don't think that'll count for our tonnage here, but that's okay. Dropping down to 60 meters. Turn off the gyro compass. Let's make sure manual steering is on. Don't want to be making too much noise. And let's see... Looks like this Corvette is looking for us a little bit. Hopefully she won't be able to hear us. Just got to lay nice and low, boys. Okay, and it looks like they don't have much of an idea where we are. So we're going to head towards the wreckage of that Corvette and try to pick up some of the, uh, the goods that have been dropped there. If they're even still there, who knows? I'm not sure how long they actually last, but it would be good to pick up some food. Anyway, these three ships seem to be sailing onward. We can come up to a reasonable depth, like 70 meters. Just so my crew's not freaking out so much. We are in the process of reloading tube number two. Don't really need to do that, but that's okay. Well, you know what? I'm not too upset about... uh. Our torpedo missing. That was still kind of interesting and a little risky. 
Looks like they're looking in the wrong direction, so I'm going to count my blessings here and lay nice and low. Once they're gone, we'll come up to periscope depth and look for the wreckage. Okay, so one of our one of our sailors just had a heart attack. Auto over here. Um is there anything I can I can really do about that? Okay, go go check out Otto. Why do you have a Okay, he had a heart attack due to stress and his underlying health conditions. Oh my goodness, Otto. Well, hopefully uh hopefully he doesn't die. Poor Otto. Well, these destroyers are hanging out here. Um yeah, and they're just they're just sailing around. We're just gonna try to break contact. I really wanted to uh, see. Okay, it looks like Otto's okay. He he didn't die. Perfect. I really wanted to see uh, if we could come up and try to pick up some of these uh, crates that were floating in the water, but I have a feeling they're gone by now. So our best bet's just gonna try be to break contact from the rest of these escorts and uh, head on. Um, we have almost completed this objective, this travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area, and I'm not sure if uh, this flower class will contribute to this, but we'll find out. Either way, we're going to head back to Bergen to refuel. This fuel's down to 40%, so that's uh, really not good. And also, food supply is awfully low, as you all know. Okay, we have come back up to periscope depth. As you can see, morale is on the rise, and we have quite a bit of water... Okay, propeller noises. These, this is the warship uh, group that is hanging out back there. Let's turn. Uh, we'll turn on our pump in a little bit. We're still okay, and just water has uh, slowly seeped into the boat here. Um, everything else is all right. We're all good. We're all good. Oh no, are they heading back this way? Let's just let's head east. Let's just get away from these guys. I mean, that's what I get for attacking warships. It is dangerous and uh, not really recommended. Hopefully we'll find a convoy or something up here before we head all the way back to Bergen. But uh, yeah, these guys have this area unlocked. They're probably patrolling these waters waiting for me to make another attack, but we are not going to do that. We'll continue to break contact and we will surface the boat in probably around an hour's time. Oxygen and battery power are just fine. We have plenty of it left, so uh, we can stay submerged for as long as we really need. But I just wanted to update you guys. U-564 has come up to periscope depth and is currently uh, running from the enemy. <laughs> currently July 2nd, 1941, and U-564 has surfaced completely. We are currently recharging our compressed air reserves using the diesel compressor back here and pumping out the water that has seeped into the bilge. Our actual mission of traveling 2,500 kilometers has been completed, and also the Flower Class Corvette did not contribute to uh, this tonnage quota. So we are going to plot our course out of here and kind of head back to Bergen where we will restock on supplies and then head back out to sea to finish up this final objective. But we have quite a bit of renown so we can uh, get some more torpedoes, some more food and all of that good stuff. I do think it'll be mighty beneficial to head back and restock. I wonder, it's probably uh, closer to go to Bergen than head to uh, La Rochelle down here. So we'll just go to Bergen. That'll be fine. Anyway, that is the update on the situation. Those destroyers were meandering around back here and then eventually sailed off to the northwest, so. Here we are in good old Bergen. So we're going to go ahead and restock our boat with food, fuel, and torpedoes and get underway right after that. I do plan to head back to the general area where we were patrolling to try to encounter some uh, British convoys out there. 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and Let's begin go. rearming. It is now July 12th, 1941, and U-564 has been completely resupplied with fuel, food, and torpedoes. We don't have a full complement because we did not have enough uh, money to do so. However, we have quite a few more torpedoes than we uh, had when we came here. So, uh, fuel is also at 100%, as well as food supply has been restocked. We have quite a bit now, uh, and that should last us quite a long time. Uh, apparently there's of course water down here. We'll turn on the pump and get underway I am going to like I said head towards the same area where we were patrolling uh, I actually want To head down here and unlock this little waypoint on the western approaches and I don't like how it does that with my course um, But anyway, uh, that's the general plan of action uh, to head that direction and unlock that waypoint there. And hopefully run across a nice large convoy for us to sink our teeth into. Anyway, U-564 is now departing Bergen. I'll keep you folks updated as our journey continues. Okay, so we are currently in grid AM71, and we have a recent development. Two freighters have been sighted, and one of them is an enemy freighter. So we are going to go to standard speed. Two of them are enemy freighters. Perfect. We're going to get into a position here to begin engaging them. Let's get our radio operator on, and let's get Erwin here to begin preheating all of our torpedoes. Come on. Missing auto out of range let's assign a, an additional sailor we'll see if that can uh there we go shoot that off the bdu please and let's begin maneuvering into a decent position it looks like these ships are going awfully slow and it's pretty dark out as we should probably rig for red now yes we should rig for red and Mueller, my friend you can go back to sleep for the time being okay we just want to get into a decent position here this will definitely put us over our 10,000 ton uh, mark. I could probably, maybe a good idea. Let's submerge the boat now. How far away are we currently from the targets? I do not want to be detected on the surface. Three, four kilometers. Yeah, we can make this approach underwater. Down to periscope depth, please. Yeah, let's get under. Um, turn on the pump, get that water out of the bilge. There's not a whole lot, but that's fine. And, uh... Erwin here, or Rudolph, excuse me, we'll have to get on the hydrophone. Let's check everything, switch over to electrics, and down to standard speed. Okay, looking good, looking good. Deck should be a wash any second now. I'm not seeing the enemy. Oh, there they are. They're way out there. And deck's are now a wash and down we go perfect okay let's see what we have here let's go ahead and get rudolph on the hydrophone repair engines the in repairs are required for our diesel engines i guess i'm that's a f news to me i didn't know they needed repairs interesting wonder if they're just having a malfunction i have not seen that before Anyway, uh, let's go ahead, begin preheating all of these torpedoes, make sure they are all preheated and ready to rock and roll. Let's go full speed, making seven knots underwater. We do want to close this gap, get into range to fire our G-70 torpedoes. It looks like the those cargo ships are kind of kind of zigzagging around, unfortunately. We may have been sighted. That's okay. If we can get nice and close here, like where we're at now. Captain. I am slightly worried about uh, uh, getting too close to the neutral vessel. And that one's the neutral one. The NA-1 there. Okay. These are the two enemy vessels. Lock on target. Let's identify them real fast. Empire Tower, no. Empire Bell, no. Empire Explorer, recognize, unlock. Next target, lock on target. What are you? Is it another Empire? 
Empire Tower. Recognize. Range to target. Okay, to the top of the mast. Set. Two kilometers. Perfect. Speed is going to be tricky, especially with all their uh, zigzagging. We're also moving rather quickly. Start. So that will throw off our speed calculation a little bit. But might as well try it. And if it comes down to it, we have plenty of deck gun ammunition. We could just use the deck gun and finish these guys off. I'm not too worried about it. If we can get close with our uh, torpedoes, their zigzagging will have a little less of, a, of an effect on our solution. So honestly, they may not be zigzagging. I don't even know. We'll see. See how fast they're going. Okay. Stop set. Five knots. That's reasonable. Yeah, I guess I guess they are in fact zigzagging, but it's very slight, very slight indeed. Let's go flank speed and try to get um past this uh, neutral freighter. There we go. I think this one will be our first target. Time to slow down. Hello. And get ready. I think we can take these guys piecemeal. Because this ship is in a pretty aggressive turn at the moment. So we'll fire at this one. Once it gets just in a slightly better position here. We want to get it. Oh wow, they're about to collide. Uh, that doesn't look good. Oh no. Oh no, is this really about to happen? What's going to happen? I'm curious, I've never seen this. Ooh, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Doesn't look like uh, they're damaging each other, but um, let's use some time compression here. I'm halfway tempted. Let's... Hello? Halfway tempted to torpedo it. Okay, let's get speed. <laughs> Start. Let's pull these up. Tube... T2, T2 torpedoes. Okay, flood it. Wow, that is... That is wacky. Stop, set. Seven knots. Okay, let's do it. Angle on bow is... Wrong button, I... I don't know why that one looks like an AOB thing to me. Angle on bow is like 130 set. All right, tube two. <laughs> let's, let's try it. What do we have to lose? Torpedo is running towards them nicely. There it is. It's very hard to make out. And uh, we may hit one or the other. I'm not. Whichever one we hit, I'm cool with it. Okay, there's a torpedo there. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, it looks like we will hit the second ship. The angle is not good, really, but... Let's see if it's a dud. Oh, there we go. Torpedo impact. Ouch. Serious damage. We're at a pretty poor angle now for the rest of them. Looks like uh, she is not doing so hot, though. I say we just surface and use the deck gun here. Hit one with a torpedo. I this angle is going to is so bad. It's almost uh it's going to be a difficult shot to pull off and also at these angles the chances of duds uh increases drastically. Okay, so surface the boat. Time to use the deck gun. I have never seen ships actually collide in this game. I wonder how frequent that is. Anyway, it's entertaining, <laughs> I suppose. Oh, she's taking on water. Yeah, that's fine. We'll finish this other one off, and they are abandoning ship. Okay, let's go ahead and get Wolfgang on the deck gun once the Capitaine. boat has completely surfaced. And Rudolph, get on the radio. There we go. Get on there, buddy. Okay, Wolf, get on the 88. There we go. And we'll assign two crewmen to you. Looks like they are still uh, colliding with each other. Yeah. It, maybe it's a defensive tactic. 
<laughs> it's kind of silly. Looks like the Norwegian freighter. Or not the Norwegian freighter, the uh, Swedish freighter is just booking it out of Dodge, even though she has... Uh, Oh, she doesn't have military vehicles on her deck. That's fine. Okay. Come on, Wolf, Wolfgang. It's time to hustle. Move with the purpose. Turn on the pump. Turn on our diesel compressor as well and switch to diesel engines. Okay. On the deck gun we go. We have high explosive and armor piercing ammunition. Uh, try to fire. Don't know if I hit. We'll move uh, right towards them. All ahead, fool. Okay, we'll hit the... Uh, we'll try to get close to the one that's attempting to escape. I think this other one is uh, going to go down due to flooding. Oh, yeah, look at her. She is pretty much done for. Okay. Hello. That's pretty cool. All right, hit. And we will just use the deck gun to finish this one off. No sense in using a torpedo. They are unescorted, so makes it easy to do this. Good hits. We have 24 rounds of high explosive left, and we also have 40 armor, piece, armor piercing rounds. I don't think this uh, merchant ship's going to take too much. I'm going to aim for the water line there. There we go. Looking good. It looks like she's already starting to take on water. Let's spread it out a little bit. There go. And let's check. Don't want to waste more ammo. And we have to, and we can slow down. I'll stop. Just a few more rounds should do it. We'll fire three more. How about that? Three more should be good. It looks like a life raft just blew off. There we go. How's that? Not doing too great. Looks like this freighter is uh, taking on quite a bit of water. We'll see if she actually goes down. Doesn't look like it though. Missing workers on the engines. Oh, they're repairing the engines, interestingly enough. I have no idea what caused damage to those engines. Kind of surprised. There we go, started a fire. That'll do it. Yeah, it looks like there's a fire midships there. She's taking on quite a bit of water. And there we go. Repairs are completed. Yeah, I really have no idea. And they're hitting the lifeboat. She's going down. Yeah, she is done for. She's sinking. Send that in to BDU. And there she goes. That's one down. And that is our tonnage goal completed. And it looks like this other merchant vessel is kind of lingering in the water. However, I do want to see, are there any packages? No, it looks like nothing is coming up to the surface. No containers or anything like that for us to pick up. We'll keep our eye on it though. We'll swing around and hit this one with a couple of rounds. Probably one will do it. And uh, that'll put her under. Okay, let's get on the deck gun. Swing it over to our other merchant friend. One hit. Two hits. We'll do three. Why not? And bam. Three. See if that's enough. Oh, I guess not. 
Still afloat, surprisingly. Okay, well, in that case, we will fire a couple more. And just finish off our high explosive ammo here. I start a fire, and then you know that's going to finish her. There we go. She's going down. Ema. And she is sinking. Send that to BDU. Get some more renown here. There we go. And that is another ship going down. Two ships. It looks like apparently there is wreckage. No, there is no uh, no cargo coming up to the surface. Well, we'll hang around here and see if any of it appears, but we can get uh, Wolfgang off of the deck gun and unassign those men. Well, I suppose that will end today's U-Boat video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.